in this short tutorial I will show you how to start your own QJS project. Now one of the very important things before you start is knowing the metadata of the files you'll be using. The most important thing you'd like to know about them is the coordination system that they are assigned to. Now I will show you how to check on the metadata in QJS. Let's say I will use a plugin I have installed before, which is called Open Layers plugin, and I will load a Google Satellite layer. Now look in the bottom right corner what has changed here. The coordination system. The one that was default was the World Geographic System 84, the one that also the GPS system is using. Now, the Google Satellite layers and others in the internet source might be using pseudo-mercator layer, which is a little bit different but quite similar and should be close to the Boogie S84. Now, we'll hit OK. And the layer is appearing actually. Now, I will add a new layer, which I know that is in different coordination system. It will be also in raster layer, but I know because I've installed it in a different coordination system. And it's actually it's a cartographic one. So I'll hit OK. And then I'll zoom in to the layer because I want to have a closer look at it. And look what happens. Actually, the scale has changed. The coordination system of your project hasn't changed as it's right now default to the one that the Google Satellite layer has changed. But it seems like there's some kind of problem with loading this layer because those two layers just don't match up. Now we'll go into properties and check the metadata. And in metadata you can actually see in which coordination system this layer has been changed has been saved. So this is how you how you write the Polish 92 coordination system. You can check that in the either in the internet or you might just know it from other tasks you've been already doing. Now there's still problems with loading this layer. So what, what I might want to do is go into properties and change the general coordination reference system and here I'll do a trick and I'll change it into WGS84 and I'll hit apply and now I'll hit also OK and zoom to layer again this is the layer I've added now, if you expect the edges, it might seem that actually it's sitting quite nice. As you see, the roads here are connecting. But I would be very suspicious about referring two layers in different coordination system. The right way to do it would be go into Save As and you, you choose where you want to save your file. Like I will call it as the same one that I've used. And I will go 84 to have in mind the coordination system. Now, this is the layer that actually. Now, I want. This layer is in this one. So I will have to put it in it. In here. I can expect all the positions. No, actually, it was quite correct. I want to use it as it was before. And I will say OK to that. And now I will add it again.
and now it should be quite fine and there should be no problem with using this layer. Now remember when you're adding your layer to the project that you know in which, which coordination system it is used so that you can rely on the data you're watching. Sometimes it might happen that if you're using two close coordination systems that they are quite near the position you'd be expecting them to be but they won't be in this place that you want them to be. So remember about the coordination system you're using because it's very important for everything you'll be doing in geoinformatics. 